an equitable uh, amendment. Um, we know that first responders at the World Trade Center were exposed to toxins. We're not sure about the Pentagon in Shanksville. This protects them while not automatically uh, putting them into the program. It allows the uh, World Trade Center administrator to include yeah. the Pentagon in Shanksville uh, if they determine that these first responders at those sites were at an increased risk of developing a World Trade Center related condition as a result of airborne toxins or other hazards. Um, this makes sense and it really should be non-controversial and I move the amendment. Uh, uh, oppose the amendment. L let's remember th those affected uh, by the toxins come from nearly every congressional district in the country. I think 431 out of 435. And the bill, as we drafted, already requires New York City to contribute 10 percent matching cost share for the entire program, which is up to $500 million over 10 years. And that was the manager's amendment, and it included enforcement provisions to ensure that New York contributes the 10 percent match. And that was responding to Republican concerns at the Health uh, Subcommittee markup. New York City, let's remember, has already spent millions of dollars caring for those injured by the toxins at Ground Zero. And I want to repeat that the federal government said the air was safe when it wasn't. President Bush asked Wall Street workers to open up the financial district, and the federal government offered tax credits to entice people to move downtown. Dealing with the health effects should not become a burden to New York City when it is a federal responsibility. Uh, New York will provide its fair share, and this is just uh, an, another am amendment which, which throws a, a, a roadblock uh, in its, in its path. So, path. so um, I urge my colleagues to oppose the amendment.